Web developers, be warned. This is a cautionary tale. When I started working as a web developer, I had learned all my skills online with the Web Developer Bootcamp and a couple of more courses on Udemy. When I started working as a web developer, I had all the tools I needed and all the knowledge I needed to create solid websites when in, terms, in terms of code. I had all the coding knowledge, all the technical knowledge to make good websites. However, I was not so well versed in web design. I figured that since web design was not in the curriculum, when I started working in uh, companies as a website uh, developer, that I would be uh, assigned with a web designer that would make the design and that I'd be the one to create the, web, the design made for me. Oftentimes, in smaller companies, they do not even have a web designer in the place. So this means that I, working at a small agency, was pretty much the one that had to make the design decisions on my projects since I was the one coding them. Now, since I had no knowledge in design, I pretty much made pages that looks like this. This is my first website. This is clearly not something that is uh, something I'm proud of. I'm proud of the code. It's very optimized. However, the look is tremendously awful. Tremendously awful. And the sudden realization that my instincts when it comes to art and visual design are not good enough on their own to create good websites and that I really had to learn about design to make pages that looks like this. Even learning only the fundamentals of design, I only watched something like 10 hours of design courses before I could make something that looks like this. Now, I'm saying that because oftentimes you'll notice that if you start working at an agency, you start making websites, you know, even if there is a web designer on your job, you will have some leeway, you will have some agency in the project and you'll have to make decisions. Now, if you don't know about design, you may end up creating good designs as well. You know, if you make something that's bad, you can rebuild it better and better every time. This is a very solid way, in fact, to create a design that looks good. However, it's extremely time consuming, which means that your projects are going to cost a lot more to your clients and to your boss, if you have a boss, which they will both be unhappy about. And in the cases where they will not pay more, it just means that you will get less for the number of hours you'll be working on the project. So do yourself a favor, if you want to learn web development, make sure that you spend the time learning design. This will give you such a tremendous advantage, whether you're a freelancer or you want to get hired as a company, because ultimately, it's not just about being able to do a website, it's about being able to do the best website you can in the least time possible because if you spend less time you can get more money for the number of hours that you work and you also can show off your projects which are going to be of higher quality which means that your next projects will might attract better clients that will pay you even more money to make websites for them basically I think learning web design is one of the things that really helped me the most in my career as a front-end web developer. If I had any recommendation to any aspiring web developer other than learning online, it's to learn design. So that's it for today. If you're interested in learning web design online, I would highly recommend you check out Landing Page Design and Conversion Rate Optimization by Isaac Rudansky. This course is absolutely amazing. It's only 20 bucks and truly I think this is one of the best courses on Udemy. One of the courses that has the best production values and gives you the most for your bucks on the platform. With that said, thank you for watching. I truly hope you appreciated this and that you found this video useful. If there's anything you wish to know about 
how it is to work as a web developer, how to learn web development online, or if you want me to review an online course for you, whether it's on web development, business, or otherwise, just write them in the comments down below. I'll be very happy to take a look. With that said, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you soon.